According to Greek mythology, the original Chimera was depicted as a fire-breathing, monstrous creature with the head and body of a lion, the head of a goat protruding from its back, and a serpent for a tail. Three animals in one. Nowadays, the term Chimera has come to describe any mythical or fictional creature with parts taken from various animals to describe anything composed of very disparate parts or perceived as wildly imaginative, implausible, or dazzling. The character Beast from the fairy tale Beauty and the Beast is an example of a chimera that many may be familiar with from their childhood, with his horns of a bison, back mane of a hyena, tusks of a wild boar, gorilla brows, a lion's nose, the arms and chest of a bear, and the hind legs and tail of a wolf. The news that researchers have been actively creating human-animal chimeras has generated quite a bit of controversy recently and may conjure up ideas about Frankensteinish experiments. But chimeras are not always the man-made result of genetic tinkering. They do occur naturally, as there are a number of examples of chimeras among the multiple different humanoid species that cohabitate our sister Earth that already exist. A chimera is essentially a single organism that contains two or more sets of DNA of individuals of the same species or from different species, granting them with the genetic codes to make multiple separate organisms. For those curious about whether or not it is truly conceivable that a person can simultaneously possess both RH negative and RH positive DNA, we'll turn to a first-hand testimonial from an individual to answer this question for us. Now to protect her identity, we'll identify her by only her first name, Gina. And Gina responds to this question by saying, quote, Yes, it is 100% possible to have chimera blood type that is RH negative and RH positive. I know this because I have chimera blood type that is O positive and O negative. This was discovered during my first pregnancy when blood typing to see if I needed the Rogam shot. My OBGYN said I was O positive and wouldn't need the shot. I had donated blood the year before and my Red Cross card was O negative. So I showed him and he had the lab retest my blood multiple times. Every time they retested, it changed back and forth from O negative to O positive. He then had my blood sent to a hematologist for testing. Results came back that I have chimera blood type and the hematologist's explanation as to why I don't have an antigen antibody reaction is that since I was in utero, my blood had coexisted this way. So my negative cells don't see my positive cells as a foreign body, so the immune response isn't triggered to attack. They gave me the Rogam shot just to be on the safe side. However, with my second child, I did not receive the shot and he's O positive and perfectly fine because my negative cells don't see the antigen as an invader, therefore do not attack. Now I will say this, I do have three autoimmune disorders as well as macrocytic anemia, which means I have unusually large red blood cells. End quote. Many individuals are not even aware that they themselves have doubled up on DNA, as many chimeras don't always have any observable symptoms, but there are some persons that may display physical characteristics, such as different colored eyes or even two-tone skin pigmentation, such as in the case of singer, model, and chimera awareness advocate Taylor Mole. Now, Taylor is an example of what the biological science and medical community refers to as having tetragametic chimerism or fusion chimerism and is sometimes referred to as the vanishing twin syndrome. Taylor is an only child that had a fraternal twin that died and whose embryonic cells she absorbed while in her mother's womb, causing the birth marking on the left side of her body in which one side has an entirely different skin pigmentation color than the other side as a result of her twin's DNA. Taylor also has two different immune systems and two different blood types, 
which is what causes her autoimmune issues due to her own immune system interpreting her sister's DNA as foreign and attacks it. Taylor also has sensitivities to food, jewelry, and insect bites, and she says she reacts to various things differently on the left side of her body than she reacts to on the right side of her body. Since twin loss occurs in an estimated 30% of multiple fetus pregnancies, the existence of natural-born chimeras is far more prevalent than what is documented, but these individuals themselves may never find out, as genetic experts state that deliberately testing and screening for chimerism at the lower levels of the bioscience and medical field can be very difficult, and some geneticists hypothesize that the prevalence of naturally born humanoid chimeras is as high as 10% of the population here on our sister Earth. And this is one of the many reasons why some people can experience having two or more different blood type testing and screening results. In the 2002 calendar year, independent news outlets reported on the story of Karen Keegan. When Karen needed a kidney transplant, she and her family underwent blood testing and screening to see if any of her family members were a match that could possibly donate a kidney to her. According to the test results shown, genetically, Karen was not the biological mother of two of her three children that she herself had given birth to. But what doctors later discovered is that Karen was a chimera whom had blood cells in parts of her body that are genetically different from other cells located in other parts of her own body. Also in 2002, a woman named Lydia Fairchild took a DNA test along with the father of her children to apply for child support, and proving the father's paternity was one of the requirements for receiving court-ordered payments from the non-custodial parent. While Lydia herself could prove that her ex-partner was indeed the father of her children, the blood screening and testing ruled her out as the biological mother of her own children that she had given birth to. Lydia was then accused of attempting to claim benefits for other people's children as part of a surrogacy scam. But when her defense attorney read about Karen Keegan's case, he asked for Lydia's genome to be studied more in depth. Only then was it discovered that the DNA of Lydia's hair and skin did not show her related to her children, but DNA taken from a cervical smear did. The conclusion was that Lydia was a chimera with two completely different sets of DNA. In 2015, an anonymous man failed a paternity test because, as he later found out, he himself possessed two entirely different sets of DNA. The DNA extracted from the man's cheek swab sample did not match the DNA in his sperm sample. The man had absorbed his unborn twin brother's genes while he was in the womb. So genetically, according to the blood testing and screening results, he was his son's uncle. In addition to genetic chimerism, the condition is also commonly caused when another genetic code is introduced to the body by organ or tissue transplants, as well as blood transfusions. For example, when someone undergoes a bone marrow transplant, they will carry blood cells that are identical to the donor for the rest of their lives in addition to their own genetically distinct blood cells. Trace fetal stem cells often remain in a mother long after she has given birth. Some of these stem cells have even been found to reside in a woman's brain. Likewise, a pregnant woman's cells cross the placenta and become part of their child's liver, heart, thymus gland, and bloodstream. Many people may not ever suspect microchimerism is part and parcel of their existence, but is far more frequent than one would realize. In fact, chimerism, both tetragametic and micro, are effectively challenging how the biological science and medical field, forensics, and the legal system contend with DNA. The coordination and intertwining of various underground criminal organizations and private defense agencies that comprise the interplanetary corporate conglomerate and the military extraterrestrial industrial complex made up of elite occultists with access to advanced technology 
who have been behind the control of a majority of world events, manufacturing public consent, and manipulating great geopolitical influence from the shadows since the dawn of history, seek to attain fulfillment of an apocalyptic transhumanism and sentient artificial intelligence agenda with prevalent themes of extreme eugenics, supremacist exceptionalism, and social Darwinism in order to ensure their own utopian salvation. These groups conducting black budget operations, super soldier and secret space programs and other subprojects are undeterred in their genetic research into the development of artificial chimeras. Genetically engineering individuals that possess the combined amalgamated DNAs of several different starseed and earthseed species to achieve combinations of their specific psionic and psychokinetic special abilities. As their Machiavellian ways and sinister machinations have seen them collecting the DNA of many of the most powerfully gifted individuals that reside here on our sister Earth. Giving these genetic engineers access to a wide assortment of hyper powered combinations by performing illegal genetic enhancements and other intrusive mutations on unsuspecting individuals by abducting their test subjects. These successful developmental experiments result in the weaponization and creation of super soldiers and other enhanced humanoid beings designed specifically for military mobilization with combined power sets of the source player individuals as well as aggressive traits that lend themselves to detection, stealth, deception, intelligence gathering, and hunting other targeted individuals. Chimeras are an enticing prospect to call upon, specifically as a military asset going forward for governments suggesting private laboratory groups create fusion star seeds with complementary psionic and psychokinetic special abilities. The potential present in the artificial chimera concept to combine power sets to create complementary effects give these artificial chimera super soldiers a real edge on the battlefield in this system of speciesism and spiritual genetic war far beyond naturally born star seeds. In supreme actuality, geneticists don't even require the combination of psionic and psychokinetic special abilities to create wonders, as they can do a lot with just a single special ability when the divine gift itself is treated as a resource that can be exploited, not getting hung up on the fact that the special ability belongs to an individual themselves, but rather by simply taking the divine gift isolating it, and working out what are all of the things that can be done with it, and figuring out all of the possible ways that the particular psionic and psychokinetic special ability can be used for militaristic applications and capabilities. On each of our individual journeys within this current lifetime campaign, the search for truth on this quest of remembrance regarding our own personal genetic heritage as well as the continued evolution of our soul, begins in the detachment from all things that one once previously believed. The biological science and medical community's great expansion of understanding of some of the fundamental concepts of chimeras has changed in advance with the discovery of every exceptional finding. As paradigms shift, altering our context of existence, a number of dogmas have been broken and new ideas have emerged. DNA testing, which is done by collecting small amounts of saliva, bodily fluids, hair, bone, and blood or skin tissue, relies on the notion that every cell in a single physical body contains identical DNA, and that each individual person has a different DNA. But chimerism challenges the notion of a one DNA, one person system. So for those of us that have experienced two or more different blood type testing results when having blood screenings done, finding out that you yourself might just be a chimera would definitely provide you with a new perspective on how DNA really is unique to each and every individual.